Hello everyone and welcome back to VGC Dark Wolf. Uh, today we are going to be doing a little how-to guide where we are not sucking your blood. Um, instead, we're going to be learning how to play Minecraft with an Xbox 360 controller, PlayStation 3 controller, Logitech gamepad controller, really any controller that can be plugged in via USB. Uh, this does include joysticks, this does include gamepads, this includes everything, you guys. Um, so what you're going to need is what I'm holding in my hand, which is one USB controller, one wireless controller with USB uh, adapter, or one wireless controller with a USB capture, or a wireless capture. Also, I'm uh, encoding the video behind you, so just completely ignore that. You're going to need this program called XPatter. Um, it does cost money, but there is a way to get it for free, which I'll put a link in the description on how to do that, because it's an old version, but it still works. Um, I really don't know what the hype is with the new version, but whatever. The old version works perfectly fine, you guys. So you're going to want to go get that, and then you're going to want to plug in your controller, and it's going to, when you run it, if you have anything above Windows XP, you need to run it in compatibility mode. Um, for Windows XP because it doesn't recognize new operating system and it'll give you an error saying it doesn't know what operating system you're running so you just need to run it in Windows XP compatibility mode and you'll be safe so moving on you're going to click new right here this little guy click new alright so SciTech ST90 USB control stick oh my apologies that's the wrong one well what the hell we'll, we'll do it on this guy <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, sticks. One enabled, push stick left, up. We now have full reign with the uh, the side tech. Now, this is a one stick USB joystick. Uh, this would be for like flight simulators. D pad, there's no D pad. Buttons. Let's just start pressing buttons. Okay, doesn't recognize the digital throttle. Triggers. Oh, no, we don't have triggers. So, this goes here. This guy goes here. And this guy goes here. Granted, this is not exactly how it looks. But uh, this is how I'm going to set it up so that I know. So, here you have your model. Um, I do recommend that you set this up appropriately according to your gamepad because this is how you're going to see it when you save it. So now we're going to close. Up, down, left, right, buttons, trigger. So, of course, you know, these are on the stick, these buttons here, but uh, just for the sake of argument. And then you make a new profile. And then you just click. I don't know if you guys saw that. You click on one of these buttons, and then it brings up this. Keyboard uh, alternate stuff number, numpad, and then your mouse, including scroll wheel and middle click, left click, right click, fourth and fifth buttons on the side, direction. Uh, you can set it up to hit multiple keys at once. I have no idea what any of these guys do. And I don't even know what this is called. I don't, I don't know what that does, guys. Oh, you can name the button. Cool. <coughs> okay, so let's say, uh, the main trigger, that would be like your firing trigger, let's say we want that to be right click. And then uh, to break a block, left click, and then this guy. Let's do E to open the inventory, because I like E instead of I. And then uh, W, oh no, no, because we're going to assume that you have to use And then you would save this profile as. And then you would save it as like SciTech ST90. I like saving it with the name and then the program in front. So now if you were to go play Minecraft, you would be able to. Oh yeah, I should probably save the layout as. ST90. Yep, okay. So really what you've done is you've uh, enabled your computer to be controlled 
via whatever you're doing. So you're not really mapping Minecraft to be able to play it so much as you're allowing it to control your entire computer. Um, all you've done is you said... There we go. Oh dear. All you've done is uh, allowed your controller to be mapped to your keyboard. So whatever you do will be... Uh, will you're just overriding the buttons with popular functions of the mouse and keyboard. So you're tricking your computer into thinking that when I press up on the joystick here or or uh, or here with this one, that what I'm really doing is moving my mouse around. So, like I said, I'll put a link in the description for XPatter. Um, this allows you to map your keyboard and mouse functions into gamepad controllers which is how people how most people uh, allow themselves to use controllers in games that are not properly uh, shall we say motivated or enabled to use controllers so this has been a very short how-to uh, from VGC Dark Wolf. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check back in later. Um, next on the list for your guys' how-to guides, if you'll give me just a moment to look, is either how to SSH into iOS or set up MCP or tie a tie. So uh, VGC Dark Wolf signing off. I will catch you guys later.